Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Today, I want to show you how to use up those junk mail envelopes within your scrapbook journals. And I'm gonna give you three ways on how to use them within the journals as journal pages, um, as pockets, as well as art pages within your scrapbook journals. So let's get to the craft room. Okay, the first technique I'm going to show you is an accordion pocket using these um, junk mail envelopes. And I'm going to show you how I create it for this journal here. This is actually a mini journal, DIY journal, from my paper line. It's called The Essence of Fall. So if you're interested in creating this no-so DIY journal, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. But for now, we're going to just focus on the junk mail envelope here. The first technique I'm going to show you is how to use these junk mail envelopes with the windows in your scrapbook journals. And I was originally going to use these larger ones, but that's if <laughs> that's going to be for another video because it's going to be way too long if I try to show you um, with these other video with these other envelopes. So we're just going to stick with this one here. And this one is your standard envelope. It measures about, I would say nine and, a, nine and a half inches by four and one eighth of an inch. And the first thing you want to do is cover up that ugly blue lining inside the envelope. And I'm just gonna use um, some of the paper from my paper line to cover that up. And depending on what part of the image you want shining through will determine how you line the inside of the envelope. So I really like that dragonfly at the top left, so I'm going to try to um, incorporate that into the window of the envelope here. Now you'll see um, later on in, in at the end of this video, you'll see where I kind of screwed up here. <laughs> but for now, let's. I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm doing at this point. Um, what I would suggest is I actually lined just the the inside of that that envelope where I only lined one side. In hindsight, when I look at the project later on, uh, you'll see that I actually line the other side. So let's catch this early <laughs> before you get further on into this video. Um, I caught the mistake. Make sure that. Um, that you line the other side of um, the envelope as well because we're going to be using actually the inside as a as a pocket and that blue really shines through <laughs> you don't necessarily have to do the closure of that lining but i, I highly recommend doing the rest of it though now the next thing you want to do is fold it in half. And then we're going to cut two pieces of paper that will be your accordion fold between those halves. But before you do any more of the accordion uh, envelope here is you kind of want to either cover up these areas with paper or um, like I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the rusty hinge and uh, just ink the whole envelope. I think it's easier when you're using an envelope with windows just to ink it because then you don't have to um, cut paper to match the, um, the envelope window there. Okay, once you've completed that, this is where we're going to create the accordion part of this envelope here. And you want to measure the whole side of that envelope when it's folded. So the accordion will actually be the length and width of this, uh, this portion of the envelope. And it measures at about, I think, a, it measures at about four and one eighths of an inch by almost four and three quarters of an inch. So you can take any type of paper here. I had some scrap from creating the journal. So I, I just took a piece of paper and um, cut it 
to those dimensions, so four and one eighths by four and three quarters of an inch. And um, you'll notice though that you might have to, you'll have to trim some of it off just so that the envelope can fold onto itself. So it won't be exactly four and eighths, four one eighths of an inch by four and three quarters of an inch. But we're just gonna start with that for now. And you cut out two pieces. And the first thing you want to do is fold the paper lengthwise, just like that. And then you take one end and you fold it onto itself again, like that, like half. And then again, folding onto itself like that. This type of folding of the paper will ensure that you actually have even folds, I guess, through the accordion. I've tried it the other way where I just kind of flip flop and it just doesn't work. <laughs> so um, this is probably the best way to fold the paper so that it creates that accordion fold. And then what you do is you take it and you um, fold accordingly so that you get that fan fold or accordion fold that we're trying to achieve here. So just like that. And then you do it again with the other piece of paper. This is how it's going to sit within the envelopes. I can leave it just like that, but just to keep everything looking the same, <laughs> I'm just gonna ink those as well. Okay, now that you're done that, now it is time to assemble our accordion. Actually, the one thing I want to do is cut the tops off here. You don't have to. The reason why I'm doing is because I will be adding another insert to the inside of that pocket or that envelope. And you can see here, this is where I screwed up, see? Um, yeah, the blue is showing through there because <laughs> I wanted to cut the butterfly or the, I wanted the dragonfly to be included in that little window and, uh, yeah. So <laughs> now if you're not going to use this as a pocket, then it's not a big deal. Then you know what? You don't, it, your measurements like lining the blue area, it's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about that, but because I thought I would um, use that area as a pocket. Now this blue side shows through. <laughs> Which is why I said at the beginning, if um, you decide, like, if you're not sure whether or not you're going to cut that open, then um, I would highly recommend that you just line the whole thing, the whole inside of the envelope, so that um, you're not having to do it later like I will. <laughs> okay. This is where you take some double-sided adhesive and you're going to beautifully line this up with the, the inside of the envelope. Now you can see here, this is what I was talking about. It's a little bit longer than you want it to be. So I, I'm most likely going to cut off about an eighth of an inch off of um, the ends there. And again, I forgot that this area would be visible. <laughs> So I'm going to ink that side too. Now with the paper line, uh, if you 
already have it. You can pretty much double side print on all of these papers. Just set your printer at double sided print. I didn't do it with this image. I didn't think it was necessary. Um, but again, you can see on the printable, you can you can easily do that. And for the accordion fold, you want to make sure that you're just using basic print paper, not cardstock. Uh, the cardstock is too too stiff. If you have a 60 pound, 65 pound cardstock or 110 pound, it's too stiff. It won't it won't open up very nicely for you. So okay, so there's my dilemma. I need to line those up because that doesn't look right. <laughs> See, I did all the trial and error for you so that when you do decide to create this, um, you, do, you have less errors, I guess. <laughs> Okay, let's put these in there. You can see it's just a little longer than it should be. So I'm just gonna trim about an eighth of an inch off on each one. And then I highly recommend using um, double-sided tape instead of adhesive for this, just because you're going to be putting a lot of inserts in there. So you want to make sure that it's securely fastened to the paper or to the envelope. There, that's exactly what I wanted. But as you can see, I still see the blue there. Bah. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't leave it like that. I'm just going to line that. That's the type A in me. Isn't that terrible? I mean, geez, it's just paper. It's just a project. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna just line that up for you. And as always, I'm always, I just love to kind of ink the edges there just a little bit more. So it gives it a more of a finished look, I guess. Okay, this is where all the fun happens. Now you have this accordion pocket, so you can put as much stuff as you want in it. <laughs> Being mindful that it is going inside your mini journal, so you can't really bulk it up too much. Um, what I did, I actually have some printables here from the paper line that are specifically actually made for these foldable accordion envelopes. And uh, if you've actually downloaded the paper line, not to worry, anytime anyone downloads any of the paper from the paper line, um, once, once you're in the club, <laughs> once you're in the essence of fall, I guess, club, then any additions that I add to that paper line, you get for free. So expect that in your mailboxes, um, today and yeah, not to worry. It's, it's in there. And if you do decide to purchase like now, if you do decide to download the printable now, it will all be in the package. But those who had previously purchased the paper line did not have um, all these additions to it. So I, I will definitely send that to you. And that's kind of how we roll at Christine M. Leung. <laughs> 
I have all these paper lines that I will work in for, for a few months and I'm always creating for them. And so my crafting community will, if they've purchased the line and they see a video that's come out that, uh, pertains to that paper line and it's like oh my gosh she she posted a new tag <laughs> or a new postcard or a new envelope for her postcards oh my goodness it's it's fun because they always get the download in their mailbox so <laughs> that's kind of how I roll Okay, now this insert here I left as a little bit of a blank and you can use this in one of two ways. Either add it as a tag insert like I'm doing here or that can act as the lining for inside so that you have this kind of opening there where it's, it's blank and then you can stamp something on it or write a message on it. And then later maybe cover it with a, a pull, a pull out tab. But in this case, I, I did it this way. I thought, no, oh, I'm going to try it this way instead of using it as a liner. And instead of gems here, I just, I'm just going to use some brads. Now, if you're new to my channel, I am known as the wax seal girl. <laughs> I'm notorious for putting wax seals in all my projects, cards, envelopes. They're not just specifically for envelopes. And I have mastered the art of creating perfectly rounded wax seals. <laughs> I'll actually put that link um, in the description box below, or you can, or you can view it here if you're interested. Uh, yeah, it was like my life's craft goals to figure out how to make these perfectly rounded wax seals. And I actually have several videos on how you can use things all over the house to actually create this. <laughs> and yeah, here I'm using it as a pull, a tab on this envelope. Now you can use any method of embellishing I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, I love using mixed media to embellish a lot of my envelopes and cards and journals, but I felt like, uh, I didn't want to get messy today. <laughs> so I'm just going to use, um, I'm just going to use some washi tape and the washi tapes I'm using is from the washi tape shop because I, I'm obsessed with their washi tapes. To be honest with you, they, they gift these to me and I don't use them because they've been gifted to me. I use them because they're absolutely beautiful. I love the gilding on these. It just, it allows your, your, your projects to pop really, and gives that added dimension that, um, a lot of, a lot of stickers don't. So I like their, their washi tape because again, they do have just rolls of washi tape, but they also have these type of washi tapes that actually, um, have individual peel and stick elements to them. And if you're interested, I do have a coupon code in the description box below and you can access that. And I think you get 10% off if you do decide to purchase any of their stuff. So So there is your pocket envelope and I'm going to place it in the back of my journal here. This is another printout, another journal. Um, it's the same, same paper line, but I decide to add different covers if, if you will, um, just in case you didn't like the white, 
aesthetic, you can go with the orange or the rustic orange look. So, yeah. So here is um, here's the accordion pocket. And you just attach that with double-sided adhesive to the back of your book or anywhere in your journals. And then you have these great little pulls, um, great little inserts you can place inside. Okay, the next project is the same thing. We're using an envelope to create a pocket within your scrapbook journal. But instead of using the envelope with the window, I'm going to use just a regular envelope here because what if you don't have envelopes with the windows lying around and you just have regular envelopes? Then I'm going to show you how to create an art page with beautiful windows in it um, that can showcase any artwork or anything that uh, you want to show off in your scrapbook journals. So I actually have just a an extra printable from the notebook section. Um, this one has reflections on it and I thought, oh, this will be nice. It'll be a nice little cover for our envelope here. Again, this measures four and one eighths of an inch by I think almost four and three quarters of an inch. So you wanna cut down any decorative paper that you're going to use pretty much to that size. Okay, now what you want to do is just barely trim the top of one end of the envelope. Just that one there. So it's maybe one sixteenth of an inch. You'll actually place the decorative paper, the area where you're going to have a window on that portion, that, that part of the envelope that you've trimmed right off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to punch some holes into that. I know like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just punching holes because we're going to add way more stuff to this. Okay. Now this is where I create the window for this part of the envelope and I'm using the plastic from my kids toys. Um, you know, the boxes that your Barbies come in? Well, yeah, I get to, I, I always keep that. I always keep those plastic windows because I use them for situations like this. And so I'm just going to cut this down pretty much to the same size of the inside of the envelope. envelope. So probably maybe four inches by four and a half inches just so that it easily slides into the envelope. It just nicely slides in there and you've got this really interesting pocket and uh, window for your um, envelope. Now the next thing we're going to do is you want to decorate or add any decorative paper to the back side or the inside of that envelope. And whatever you want to shine through that, that's, one you, that's where you want to make sure that you place that on the inside of the envelope before we, we put it together. See, and it's not perfectly centered. Um, the quote is perfectly centered in uh, that window, but... That, I just think that looks, that looks really good just like that. And you know what? I really like this dragonfly, so I'm going to add that. Hmm. You know what? Let me just see here. Like, the problem with this one is if I add that to the inside, see how I slip that in there? It kind of, it doesn't look right 
doesn't look like it's floating, I guess. It doesn't look like it's separate from that page, the, the top page. So no, we're not going to use that. I'm actually going to use this here. And then I'm going to add something really neat to give it that 3D effect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add this gold wire to the insect here. Is that a moth? Yeah, to my moth. <laughs> and okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what this is. I was at Michael's and they had it over Christmas. And I looked at it. I'm like, what do people use this for? Um, yeah, you'd think being a crafter, I would know what everything is used for, but I don't. So yeah, I just picked it up because I liked the gold. Um, so you can use that or there's a thin, like I found this thinner wire. And again, I have no idea where I got the, that one, but um, you can use either or. And then just cut it to create these neat little antennas for your moths. So this isn't necessarily, it can be turned into a pocket. The back side of that can be turned into a pocket if you want. Um, and I might, I might end up trimming the top of that part of the envelope later on to make a pocket. But for now, I'm just going to close it off because I just want this to be more of an art page of anything. And um, this can be placed on anywhere really in the notebook especially if it is just an art page so it doesn't add too much bulk to the page that you're going to adhere it to so there and then if you want you can always you can always seal off the top of that first envelope, of that first portion of the envelope there, so you can't um, get into that area where the plastic is. But there you have it. There is a perfect art page for your scrapbook journals. The last envelope creation that I want to show you is what I call a scrapbook journal envelope page insert technique. <laughs> and um, this one's a little different. Now, if you're using this binding system, in this case, I used Joanna Claus binding system here. And it's, it's a no-sew where you take you, these, um, these notebook pages and you bind it to the cover using just a thread like this. And this is where the envelope itself will work well um, because you actually have this binding system right there where you can slide it into and you can use again any envelope in this case I will most likely use the window envelope again just because it just gives it added interest having you know a little plastic envelope or a plastic window there and what I'll do again is just line the insides and in this case um, it's going to be more of a page journal insert rather than an insert with pockets. So my suggestion to you is if you decide that you want to add more pockets or cut off the tops of the envelopes that you make sure you line both sides within the envelope. Okay, so 
with this envelope, you have one of two choices. You can just slip it in like this, and then um, those ends that can be cut off, and you can actually have side pockets to them. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I actually want to use this as a binding system for the actual thread that you see there and just close that all off. And so I'm actually going to accordion fold the binding system here so that we have more of like a, a fold, a foldable book within the book. <laughs> I guess it's, it's like a mini book within your mini journal. Okay, what you'll want to do is take the envelope and score down the middle and then score one quarter, a quarter of an inch, sorry, and score a quarter of an inch to the right of that and then another quarter of an inch to the right of that. And then you go on to the other side of center and score another quarter of an inch And then another quarter of an inch to that, to the left of that. So you actually have four score lines here. And then now you just want to fold. <laughs> this gets a little messy because I, I yeah, I, I, I didn't score them very well. So he, you'll see a bit of a struggle where I'm trying to fold it. <laughs> But you get the gist of it. You know what? Just do your best. Get those score lines scored and then fold um, to get very crisp fold lines. And then you want to obviously accordion fold it so that you get this look right here. Okay, that's the kind of look you want. Now here's the fun part is uh, decorating it and jazzing it up so it actually looks like it belongs in the journal <laughs> and that it doesn't look like an envelope. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to cut up some frames here, and I know this is this is kind of elementary here, but the reason why I want to talk about this is because in the paper line, I actually made it so that the frames can be layered on top of one another, so you get this kind of mad, matting effect to them if you desire.
so here is your envelope insert for your journals. <laughs> I love this one because if you use this binding, you can take the binding system, which is just your yarn and some double-sided adhesive, and then you just adhere the middle together so that, and then it just closes up on itself just like that. And then you get this beautiful kind of insert. Isn't that great? So yeah, just double-sided adhesive. And then you have this beautiful addition to your scrapbook journals. Now you'll see in the journal, the, the, the inside is, is quite, I, I didn't pull it taut because I want to add, obviously, cause I'm adding some stuff to the inside. Anyways, I, that's why I didn't pull it taut because I knew I'd be showing you a ton of kind of inserts that I want to place in there. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and the three ways to use envelopes in your scrapbook journals. Um, if you're interested in more tips and tricks on how to jazz up your scrapbook journals, then you may want to watch these videos here. Until we see you in those videos, take care, have a fantastic week, and uh, yeah, get some crafting in. Bye!